Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? And we are back with another skincare routine video. But for this one, we're going to be doing something a little bit more different. So I'm going to be sharing with you my personal thoughts on an entire skincare line habang ginagamit ko siya in front of you guys. And kung hindi niyo pa nakita sa title ng video na to, that is of course the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella line. Now sa mga skincare junkies dyan, alam ko na very very popular itong line na to sa inyo. And alam ko rin na aware kayo na ang daming iba't ibang mga products na nasa line na to. So in this video, I will be sharing with you guys kung alin ba yung mga pinaka worth it na products para sa akin. I will also be sharing with you kung saan bang mga skin types pinaka bagay yung iba't ibang mga products sa line na to. And of course, I will also be sharing with you my personal favorites sa line. And ayun nga, instead of the typical sit-down video review, I wanted to do something new. I also wanted to use the products in front of you guys para makita nyo rin kung paano ko talaga ginagamit yung mga products and kung paano ko siya ini-incorporate sa sarili kong skincare routine. Also, para meron din kayong parang reference point, especially if you're already using one or more of the products from this specific line. Pero kung unfamiliar pa kayo sa mga products from this line, don't worry guys, I will also be helping you determine in this video kung okay ba yung mga products ng line na to based on your skin type, your skin concerns, and your skin's needs. Para makita nyo rin, if worth it ba yung mga products from this line for you based on yung specific na kailangan ng skin nyo. And so that in the end, kung meron man kayong anything na bibihin from this line, at least informed decision siya. Also, this video is in partnership with Skin1004 and sila rin yung mga nag-send ng products sa akin that I have been testing for the past few weeks. This is a joint effort from us in helping you determine the skincare that's right for you. So with that being said, wala nang any any, let us begin. Alright, so just to share with you guys, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, I have been testing out these products already for the past few weeks. Around mga 3 weeks na. And medyo alam ko na yung way ko around this routine. I already know how to use them properly and how to incorporate them properly into my own skincare routine. And also, of course, yung mga favorite products ko. Now, that being said, magsimula na tayo sa mga cleansers of the line. And yes, I said cleansers because itong line nila actually has two kinds of cleansers. We have this first one, itong light cleanser cleansing oil. And then their foam cleanser naman is this one, the Madagascar Centella Ampule Foam. So dahil meron akong makeup sa face ko ngayon, of course, we will start with their oil cleanser. So just to share with you guys, galing lang ulit ako sa shoot ngayon and meron akong isang layer ng tinted sunscreen as well as one layer of concealer. Pero medyo nahulas-hulas na siya throughout the day. So ayan, we will be using the light cleansing oil first. So just to share with you guys, first yung ingredients ng cleansing oil na to. This has a blend of different plant oils that they use. If I'm not mistaken, meron sila ditong sunflower. They also have olive, jojoba, and also bergamot and rose oil. Also, meron din tong 10,000 parts per million ng Centella Asiatica, also called Sika, meaning this cleansing oil from the cleansing oil pa lang, meron na siya agad ng mga soothing effects sa skin. So simulan na natin to use this cleansing oil and ako guys honestly a little goes a long way for me. Lightweight lang din naman ako nagme-makeup pero around mga one pump lang ginagamit ko nito. What I like about this one as well is unlike other cleansing oils, hindi siya gaano ka runny sa hands. As in yung parang hindi siya yung tumutulo-tulo na sobrang makalat na cleansing oil. In my opinion, this is also generally a lightweight cleansing oil so even oily skin types like mine can really really appreciate this. So ilalagay ko na siya sa mukha ko and um, manonotice niyo guys this really, really melts my makeup fast. As in, may kita ninyo, lilitaw na agad yung mga marks ko talaga. Kasi natanggal niya na, na melt away niya na agad yung makeup ko. So just to share with you guys, also, fresh from a breakout ako, kaya makakita talaga kayo ng mga red marks sa skin ko. Kasi talaga guys, yun yung thing about my skin. Medyo mabilis gumaling yung pimple ko, pero ang tumatagal talaga is the red mark. Kasi nakakainis. And ayun nga, like I always say about red marks, it's very important to use soothing products, products with soothing extracts and ingredients because they help prevent the red marks from getting, you know, more red. Ayan. And manonotice nyo guys, hindi sobrang kintab ng mukha ko because yung gamit talaga nila ng oils dito sobrang lightweight lang. And just like that, I think na melt away niya na lahat ng makeup ko. So, I am going to wash this off already. But before I do, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo yung first contact niya with water mag-emulsify talaga siya sa skin. Ayan. So, binasa ko lang yung kamay ko ng konti. Lalagyan ko lang siya ng tubig. And, as you can see, 
medyo magiging whitish liquid siya kasi that means nag-emulsify na yung oil cleanser. And that just gives it a more satisfying feeling kapag nilinse off mo siya. But with that being said, i-wash off ko na siya completely and then let's move on to the next step. Alright, so katatapos ko lang mag-wash ng face ko and as you can see, basang-basa pa siya ngayon because we're already moving on immediately to the next step which is of course the foam cleanser. And again, this is their Madagascar Centella Ampule Foam. So just a short introduction sa product na to, they do say that it removes 92.62% of dirt and impurities. And in fair, nung tinay ko nga talaga siya for the past few weeks, I was really really impressed with this. So ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano yung lagay niya sa skin. Mag-dispense na agad ako ng product. And ang maganda dito guys is actually yung amount na to na nilagay ko, medyo marami na siya because a little goes a really really long way with this product. This foams up really really well. Ilalather ko na siya ngayon habang basa pa yung mga kamay ko. And look at that. Just after a few rubs sa kamay ko, sobrang nag-lather na siya. And what I really really like about this product as well is they use yung mga gentle cleansing agents. Kasi usually mga ganitong foaming cleansers, pag tinignan mo yung mga cleansing agents nila, medyo harsh yung gamit nila para medyo mas okay yung gula. But for this one, you're actually getting the best of both worlds because sobrang foaming niya pero yung gamit niya pa rin are the gentle cleansing agents. And another thing that I really really found impressive about this is the pH level. Kasi with the usual foaming cleansers, their pH is a little higher like around 9 yung mga makikita ninyong common na foaming cleansers. Pero to guys, this is just a little under the pH of which is actually ideal kasi yun yung pinakamalapit sa pH level ng skin natin. Kaya talaga, I really, really enjoy using this cleanser. Very, very satisfying. Especially if you have oily skin, you will really, really enjoy this. Alright, so nalather ko na siya ng mabuti and it's time to wash this off. Alright, so katatapos ko lang mag-towel dry ng face ko ngayon. So now let's talk about our verdict for these two. And kaninong skin types and skin concerns as well as kung anong skin needs bagay yung mga dalawang products na to. Now, unahin natin tong light cleansing oil nila. So, my verdict for this one is, actually, this is okay for all skin types. But I think, particularly, if you are oily, you will really like how this is a lightweight cleansing oil. But generally, I would recommend this if you need a fast and effective way of removing makeup on your skin. Kasi alam ko marami sa inyo, gumagamit pa rin kayo ng mga micellar water. And honestly, lalo na sa gabi, that can get really, really tiring as maglalagay ka ng micellar water as you swipe mo sa face mo ng ilang beses, it is really tiresome. Lalo na kung sobrang long day yung pinagdaanan mo. I really much prefer using a cleansing oil kasi ilalagay mo lang mga one pump tapos imamassage mo sa face mo and then tanggal na agad yung makeup. Another reason to buy this is if you don't like yung sobrang messy, very greasy, and heavy cleansing oils. Kasi ito, gaya nga sabi ko kanina, this is very lightweight and nakita niyo naman siya sa face ko. It goes on really, really well. On the other hand, ito namang ampule foam I would generally recommend this for oily skin types, oily to combination skin types who really, really like yung satisfying foaming feeling sa skin. The good thing about this is after you wash it off, it still feels like your skin barrier is very much intact and it didn't strip off all the natural oils on your skin. So if any of those fall into the criteria of the oil cleanser or the cleansers na hinahanap nyo para sa routine nyo, then those are the things to consider with these two products. Alright, so now from the cleanser product, move on naman tayo sa toner product ng line na to. And we have this one. This is their Madagascar Centella Toning Toner. So the first thing talaga na notice ko nung binigay tong product na to sa akin is yung laki ng packaging niya talaga. As you can see, grabbing laki niya. This is actually 400 ml of product. And as you can see, kahit almost 3 weeks ko na siya ginagamit. And sobrang generous ako sa paglagay nito ha. Since sobrang dami kong nilalagay sa skin ko ganito pa lang yung bawas niya. Now, another really, really notable first impression that I had about this is, at first, I thought this was just like a basic soothing toner for the skin. However, nung tinignan ko yung ingredients ng toner na to, I was actually pleasantly surprised because this actually has an exfoliating ingredient. So, pag tinignan mo yung ingredients list ng product na to, you will see that this actually has gluconolactone, 
which is a PHA. So again, for those who don't know, basically a PHA is polyhydroxy acids and they're one of the gentlest exfoliants. Nagu work sila on the top layer of the skin to remove the dead skin cells there. Pero yun nga, ang special sa PHA is very, very gentle siya and even sensitive skin types can use it. So given that, this is actually a pretty good, mildly exfoliating toner, lalo na kung sensitive yung skin type mo or if you have aging skin. Now, some other very notable ingredients on this list is Centella Asiatica Extract, which is actually the first ingredients list na to. And again, like we always mentioned, Centella Asiatica is just a very, very soothing plant extract for the skin. Other than that, we also have Niacinamide, which is, of course, as we all know, again, a multitasker ingredient. So not only does it help lighten dark spots, it also really helps with the skin barrier. It helps protect and strengthen it. And also, it does help just a little with the oiliness of the skin, as well as with the signs of aging, like fine lines and wrinkles. So definitely very very welcome na ingredients in niacinamide, lalo na sa toner na to. And if that's not enough, meron pa tong more soothing ingredients. This also does have dipotassium glycerizate. This also has adenosine and betaine. All of those guys, again, very soothing ingredients sila sa skin, which makes this toner a really really good choice kung sensitive talaga yung skin type ninyo. Also because this is fragrance free. So now it's time to show you guys kung paano yung lagay ng toner na to sa face ko. This is actually a pretty watery toner may kita ninyo, hindi siya masyadong mabigat. nag absorb siya actually fairly quickly compared to other toners that I've tried. Yung mga essences kasi di ba medyo mafeel mo siya ng medyo matagal before siya mag parang absorb talaga sa skin mo. This one very water-like talaga. Hindi mo siya agad may kita sa skin ko because it really did absorb it already pretty fast. I also like to use this after ko mag-shave kapag kailangan ko ng parang soothing na lightweight na ilalagay sa skin ko. Also to bring back the hydration to my skin. And then, isi-seal in ko siya ng parang cream or ng moisturizer. So, ayan. There's generally no wait time for this one. And, depende sa hydration na gusto niyo ng skin niyo, you can put the amount of toner that you want. Pero, ako siguro mga one or two lang na paglagay ng toner sa face ko and it's already really okay for me. Alright. So, moving on to our verdict for this toner. So, sino ba ang dapat bumili nito? Kung nakita niyo ingredients nito, you already probably have an idea kung kaninong best yung toner na to. So, number one, of course, this is really, really good for those na sensitive yung skin but you guys want to exfoliate. So, again, very, very gentle nga lang yung exfoliant na gamit nila rito. So, that's going to be really good for that concern of yours. So, another reason to buy this is if you need a gentle hydrating toner that's also an all-arounder or a multitasker. Again, ang dami nitong ginagawa for the skin. Not only does it hydrate the skin, it also soothes the skin and again, it does exfoliate the skin. And yung niacinamide ang dami-dami niyang function sa skin. And given na medyo high up siya sa list ng toner na to, that is really gonna help with your skin concerns in general. Alright, so from the toner product of the line, let's now move to the serum or the ampule product from the line. And true enough, yun yung pangalan niya. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampule. So this one, guys, very, very interesting to because yung chinek ko yung ingredients list niya, this is actually 100% Centella Asiatica Extra. As in, naloka talaga ako doon. Sabi ko, that is the first time that I've seen 100% Centella Asiatica Extra in any product. So again, like we mentioned a while ago, very soothing and very anti-inflammatory yung Centella Asiatica as an ingredient. And of course, it can definitely help kapag nilalagay niyo siya sa mga skincare products ninyo. And that's actually what I use the serum for. So you can actually use this as a regular serum as in pwede mo siyang drop and ilagay sa face mo. But another really useful way to actually incorporate this serum into your routine is if i-drop mo siya into your other skincare products that do not have Centella Asiatica. So for example, meron kang plain moisturizer and then gusto mo siya magkaroon ng parang medyo konting soothing effect. What I do sa mga moisturizers ko and even sa mga body lotions ko is nilalagyan ko siya ng mga 2 to 3 drops nito. Nahalo ko lang siya ng konti and then I spray Spread it onto the skin. So very very useful talaga siya doon, which is why I would definitely recommend this for those na meron pang mga skincare products. Marami pa kayo natitira sa stash ninyo and you just want to add a little bit of a soothing boost to it. But for this routine, gagamitin lang siya as a regular serum just to show you guys the texture as well. So I'll just be putting two drops and as you can see, very runny na liquid siya. The texture of this is actually very very similar to the toner. And actually, nahirapan din ako minsan na i-spread siya in this way because nag a 
absorb na agad yung product. As in, that is how lightweight it is and how fast it absorbs into the skin. So, ayan. Dahil nga medyo mas mabilis siya mag-absorb, another way that I like to do is I drop it directly onto the skin but don't let the dropper touch your skin. And again, guys, this does really just absorb so fast onto the skin. Wala kang problemahin when it comes to stickiness or anything like that. Perfect na perfect for humid and tropical weather. So, ayan na siya. And again, simple verdict for this one is if you still have a lot of skincare products na presently ginagamit mo pa, you still have a lot of creams or lotions laying around that do not have Centella Asiatica, you can just add a few drops of this and that will instantly turn it into a soothing lotion or cream or moisturizer. Alright, and last but not the least for our night routine, we of course move on to the moisturizers of the routine. And again, ang maganda sa line na to ng Madagascar Centella is they actually have options depending on your skin type. So they have these two. These are the cream as well as the soothing cream. So in my opinion, these are two different creams for two different types of skin. And when it comes to brands, that's plus points for me. Of course, we should always consider the different skin types of people. Kaya nagugustuhan ko na medyo pwede ka maging flexible when it comes to choosing the right cream or moisturizer for you. So start muna tayo with the first product that they mentioned. This is their cream. So if I just have to explain this in a few words, ito, this is a good niacinamide moisturizer for drier skin types. Ito kasing cream nila, marami silang emollient ingredients na nilagay sa formula na to. And again, emollients are basically ingredients that help seal in the cracks on your skin. And kapag dry kasi yung skin type mo, marami kang ganun. And moisturizers that are rich in emollients will really, really help. So this has ingredients like plant oils, also squalane, panthenol, as well as shea butter. And all of those ingredients, guys, nakakatulong sila sa pag-seal in ng cracks sa skin. This also does contain 20% centella extracts. You'll see it in the ingredients list as madecasoside and asiaticoside. Yun, guys, yung dalawang very active compounds doon sa centella asiatica or sika extract. And again, very, very soothing sila sa skin. Now, this one is actually more for drier skin types. My skin type is oily, acne-prone. But I still want to show you guys the texture of this because I still actually really, really like it. So, may kita ninyo, once I dispense it, it's actually a gel cream texture. And when I spread this onto my skin, actually nagulat ako because this is still very friendly for hot and humid climates. May kita ninyo, parang magiging watery na agad yung finish niya, which was really, really impressive for me. Kasi from cream, nagiging lightweight na siya agad. And that's perfect. Lalo na kung meron kang dry skin, you want to seal in the cracks. Pero, ayaw mo naman nung parang sobrang mabigat siya sa skin. As someone who's also oily and acne prone, kapag sobrang dry yung skin ko, as in flaky talaga siya from my acne medications, I can actually also consider using this one. But for those na dry talaga yung skin type, super duper recommend ko to as a day cream. As in, sobrang fresh ng feeling niya sa skin. And again, the best part is, meron itong niacinamide, which again, sobrang multitasker na ingredient ang niacinamide. And when you see that high up sa ingredients list ng mga moisturizers ninyo, that means it's a really, really useful moisturizer. So for those na tinitingnan yung product na to, I would recommend buying this if number one, your skin is dry and you need a good niacinamide face cream. Itong ito na talaga yung guys, the quality of this and yung consistency niya sa skin, this goes on really, really well. And then the next one is if you need a moisturizer that is creamy but still lightweight and watery at the same time. Now from this moisturizer for dry to combination skin, let us now move on to this other moisturizer. And guys, uunahan ko na kayo. This is my favorite product from the line. This is their Madagascar Centella Soothing Cream. And guys, sobrang ito yung gamit na gamit na product ko sa skincare line na to. So, let's start off first with the ingredients. This has 72% Centella Asiatica Extract, which means very, very soothing lang talaga sa skin. This also has other soothing ingredients like Dipotassium Glycerin, ginger root. Meron din siyang tranexamic acid which is also mildly soothing sa skin. Also, biosaccharide gum 1 and one of the most underrated soothing ingredients which is beta-glucan. Yung beta-glucan usually may kita niyo sila in mga moisturizers na may konting oat na mga extracts 
but this one they were able to put it here as well aside from that this is also really really my favorite because this does have yung favorite ko na holy trinity ingredients to strengthen and protect the skin barrier that is of course ceramides fatty acids and cholesterol all three of those meron sila in this soothing cream this has multiple ceramides this has cholesterol and this also has steric acid which is a kind of fatty acid and again yung ingredients na yun are very very backed by research that they can really really help protect and strengthen your skin barrier and speaking of skin barrier this also does have phytosphingosines and that's also very very useful and very very backed by research when it comes to strengthening our skin barrier and man notice niyo parang ilang times ko na na mention ang skin barrier but that's really really important kasi talaga guys lalo na kung oily and acne prone kayo and naglalagay kayo ng mga acne medications kasi yung mga acne medications they can really dry your skin out and you would need a product to really bring back you know the hydration and seal in the hydration on your skin and also kailangan din niya mabalik yung parang integrity or yung pagkaayos ng skin barrier ninyo which is why love na love ko talaga yung product na to and actually mas may in love pa kayo when you see the texture of this product grabe talaga guys so i-dispense lang natin siya and you will really see a light gel come out and ito gagamitin ko na siya sa face ko so what i will do is i will spread it on my palm on my palms pala plural <laughs> Then when I put it on my face, tingnan nyo guys, as in sobrang sobrang watery lang niya and super duper hydrating talaga yung feel nito sa skin. And again guys, like I said before, ang favorite quality ko talaga sa moisturizers is kapag feeling ko hydrating sila sa skin but I still feel na nasa seal in yung hydration dun sa skin ko. Yung parang hindi sila naa-absorb agad and parang wala na akong feeling na merong moisturizer sa face ko. So ito talaga guys, this one does that exact job and it really really falls under one of my favorite favorite moisturizers and i'm really really so happy that there are more and more brands coming out with the mga ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids na trio kasi sobrang magiging beneficial din talaga yun for acne prone skin so after this usually naglalagay lang ko ng acne medications pero baka sobrang humaba na yung video ko kapag nilagay ko pa yun dito i do have a separate video on that though that you can check out here but anyway ang vertical for this one guys for the soothing cream number one if you have oily and acne prone skin no question na at all if may budget kayo for this product I definitely would solidly recommend this number two if you're looking for a lightweight product that will also help nourish protect and strengthen your skin barrier this is another good choice and also the last reason to consider getting this is if you are looking for a moisturizer or a soothing gel that has a good balance of hydration and moisture ito talaga guys this this achieves exactly that. So if you like any of the products from this line, of course, I got you para hindi na kayo mahirapan, maglalagay na ako ng mga links in the description box for both Shopee and Lazada stores. Also, dun sa mga stores nila, they also have a follower voucher code. So pag pinalo mo sila, meron na kayong extra voucher code. And I also have my own personal code that you can use to get a discount and or avail a promo. Lahat ng mga details na yun is ilalagay ko again sa description box. So be sure to check it out there. Also guys, do let me know what other lines you want me to try next sa video format na to. If nagusto niyo ba yung format na to. And also, if you found this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up. And subscribe for more content like this. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!